Hello, and welcome back to more of my Pokemon Moon Nuzlocke. I am recording this on St. Patrick's Day. So, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody, even though this is going up on the Wednesday after. In fact, you guys, uh, if you watched the day I uploaded, you got to see the previous episode on St. Patrick's Day. But, um, I'm wearing one of the only real green shirts. I have a couple of green shirts, I guess, somewhere, but... I don't know, none very recent. This is the most recent shirt I have that has any green on it. It is my Luigi Death Glare shirt. I don't know, I don't remember what website I got this from, but I think someone linked it to me on Facebook and I thought it was awesome. For, all the way back from the year of Luigi. I've always been a Luigi fan. Anyway, if you are a Luigi fan or if you're just excited about a new episode, make sure you hit the like, like, button? Like button down below if you want to, <laughs> please. Uh, like and share this video of a friend with a friend if you want me to make some money to afford better English lessons as <laughs> apparently all right anyway um we're gonna continue on in this episode and we're already in I don't know if I don't know well I mean technically we're we're through more than half of the trials but we we're already in the double digits it seems pretty soon to be in the double digits of death so um I don't know how we're doing here, but we're gonna go ahead and talk to Professor Kukui and, uh... Oh, I have to check the bus stop, and phone is ringing. Excellent. Phone always likes to start ring ringing right when I'm recording. Actually, I knew uh, someone was calling for my mom today, so I, I knew that they were gonna call, but I don't know. I, I, anyway. All right, let's get on the Executor Express. We're gonna get ahead over to Mount Hokulani, but actually, we're not gonna uh, head off right off the bat um, into the trial, if we can help it. I don't remember the exact order of things here, but I'd like to go explore down the route a bit. There's some trainers we can battle, and uh, oh, Mount Hokulani is the tallest mountain in Alola. I guess I should do this because it's some somewhat plot-related. And the tallest... So I guess Mount Hok Hokulani is the second tallest, I believe that's what it was. Check it out, sweet! You see that steep, jutting, majestic peak right over there? All those constructions. That's Mount Lanakila, the highest peak, highest peak in Alola. Please, please watch this video so I can afford English <laughs> lessons, apparently. Or just, just speaking lessons. I know English, it's apparently speaking that I don't know how to do. It's a sacred spot, yeah, the closest you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola. That actually kind of reminds me, I don't know if there's similar lore in Hawaii, but um, how kind of in ancient Greece, Mount Olympus was considered to be the realm of the gods, like, or the closest point to the gods. I don't know, I don't know if it was actually, if it was actually that the gods lived on top of Mount Olympus. I mean, I know it was for Disney Hercules, but you know, they disnified a lot of stuff. For that. So I'm just going into this Pokemon Center just in case uh, we need to... I'm not sure if in this game if you have to go to the Pokemon Center to be able to fly to it or if you can just have been in the city. Anyway, we're gonna go... Um, I want to do things a little bit differently, I think. I have to decide how I want to do things because... Um, one of the, I want to get my encounter for Mount Hokulani, and there's a decent chance of it being a Minior, and I'm a little bit nervous because those things carry self-destruct. So in the event that it does, actually it's physical, so leading with Meowzy would be alright, we could still fake it out. But I think I'm going to go ahead and lead with Mimi, just in case that uh, we run into a Minior and it decides to pull any- Oh no, this is a trainer, I'm not going to battle you yet. We're gonna get our encounter first. Just in case it decides to pull any of those self-destruct shenanigans, we will be completely immune, don't have to worry about it. Alright, let's go ahead and see what our encounter is for Mount Hokulani. A Firo. Wait, we already caught a Firo. We just caught a Firo as our most recent encounter, in fact, didn't we? Yes, we did. That's dupes. We're gonna get out of here. Alright, let's try this again. Round number two. I'm pretty sure just Ditto or Minior. I forget what other encounters there could possibly be, but I think Ditto or Minior is about it for the different things we get. Well, Firo is just following us around. Stand back, Firo. I already caught one of you. I don't want any of it. Don't want any part of this. 
All right, let's try this again. Oh, a beldum, I forgot about that. That's actually pretty nice. Okay, but now I have to decide what to do. Um, I'm, first I'm gonna throw a quick ball and hope that that works. Because that would be the simplest thing. If that doesn't work, I have to decide what to do. Because Shadow Punch is going to be super effective, but it's a lot weaker than Psychic. But Psychic will be quad-resisted, so might be safer to go uh, Psychic. Or I could go the really slow route. Calling for help already? Really? Really? Okay, good. No help appeared. Alright, let's try this again. Um... Actually, Psychic is probably not going to do that much. It's quad-resisted. Yeah. Okay, that's a that's a decent range. I'm going to just chip away at it this way. Beldum would be... Actually, I'm not going to lie. Beldum would be awesome. Uh, I think I'm going to wait until after this next trial before I consider how I want to rearrange my team. But that would... This would be... Beldum would be a very nice uh, addition to our team, I believe. Having a Metagross? Man, I mean, it takes a while for it to get fully evolved, but the levels get high enough in this game that we will we would have a fully evolved Metagross for a, a decent chunk of the later part of the game. You know what, I really do want this thing. I'm just gonna go right outright for the Ultra Ball here. My gosh. What is your problem? At least the only move it has doesn't affect me. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw another Ultra Ball. I only have ten of these. I guess I should have bought a few more, huh? This thing. This thing is ornery. What's Beldum's... I was gonna say, what's Beldum's catch rate? But then again, a lot of Pokemon that were either introduced as gift Pokemon, such as starters, or Pokemon that were evolutions of Pokemon, and in the generation they were introduced, you couldn't catch them in the wild. They have lower catch rates. Oh, good, we caught it. They tend to have lower catch rates, and Beldum originally, I believe in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, there were no wild ones. You had to get one as a gift from Steven, like in the post game, I think it was. All right. Getting some experience. Let's see if we have any, uh, any good names, good name suggestions here on the previous... With magnetic traction, it pulls its opponents in close. When they're in range, it slashes them with its rear claws. But it doesn't learn slash, does it? Only take down. Anyway, alright, so this Beldum, actually I had an idea. I was looking at nickname suggestions. And, okay. So, um... I had a, uh... I had a commenter several episodes back suggest the name Datalore for a Pokemon. Your, uh... I always forget how to pronounce your YouTube name because I I'm, unfortunately don't know the reference that it's from, but I think... Let me go find let me go find it, as a matter of fact, so I can at least read it. But anyway, he wanted me to nickname a Pokemon Datalore. And I had gotten into a little conversation like, Oh, you know what? There's a gift Porygon. That would be a really good name for the, the Porygon, Datalore, because it's like a computer, and I can get it because it's a gift encounter, and... I'm pretty sure you, you can get it prior to the post game. It's only like level 35 or something like that. It, it's not too far from now, as a matter of fact. Um, but this is this steel psychic type. That could be a pretty cool name. Datalore could be a pretty cool name, I think, for this thing. And well, Porygon is really good, but I don't remember when we get the upgrade. Porygon might not be. I feel like I'd ha I'd be I'd sooner use Beldum slash Metagross uh, compared to um, compared to Porygon. All right, so I found the name Vash the Kaizoku or Kaizoku. I'm not see I'm not good with my uh, if I haven't if I, I'm not sure the reference, but uh, I know who you are in real life, which makes it kind of weird. I don't know your um, I don't know how to pronounce your. YouTube name properly, but anyway, w whatever the case. So I've been waiting on that Porygon to name it Datalore, but to be honest, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it on I'm gonna I'm gonna use it on this thing. I'll come up with a different name for the Porygon when I get it. I'm 
not that I, I might use the Porygon, because Porygon's pretty great. Like, I've gotten to use uh, Porygon 2 on VGC team, and it's amazing. And it's really horrible when you're facing one. But, alright, anyway, long story short, I'm gonna go with Dadalore. I'm gonna finally fulfill, um, fulfill my promise to name something Dadalore. Anyway, alright, you have a lonely nature, which is okay. I'm not a fan of the lower defense, but your defense is naturally pretty good, so it evens out. So I'm gonna hold off here, though. I'm gonna put you in the box for now. Like I said, we're not gonna do any team rearranging until after this upcoming trial. Because it might not matter anyway. <laughs> because we might have to add new team members anyway, depending on how it goes. I mean, I have a decent uh, plan of action here, and I know... A couple on my team are, are somewhat overleveled. In fact, you know, I'm gonna... I was gonna say I'm gonna turn off the experience share, but then again... I mean, Redemption's sitting there needing some experience. But no, I'm gonna turn off the experience share for now. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back... After this trial as well. Oh, I was gonna spray a repel. That's what I had been intending to do. I'm gonna put Jordan up front. I think Jordan... Is gonna solo the trial, hopefully. I think he'd be my best bet. If I had not lost... Um, uh, auto pool. If I had let him evolve, if, if he could have evolved Lola Mero, he would have been perfect. Like, electric attacks wouldn't have even been able to affect him because he was going to get lightning rod. No, he had lightning rod already, as in fact. <clears throat> but, you know, that's just dredging up bad memories. Uh, I need to, I need to forgive myself. I need to forgive myself for all of my losses. Basically, if we don't press on, all these deaths will have been in vain. So we need to hurry and... Oh, get Volt Switch. Alright, not bad. I don't know if we have anybody who can use it. But it's a good thing to have. Okay, so I've just been rambling a bit. You know, and if you, if you know me, if you watch my videos, I tend to do that. So this guy does not want to battle, so we're good there. Let's battle this lady. She's just uh, doing some stretching, I guess. <clears throat> Sorry, for the past, like, week or so, I just haven't really completely been able to clear my throat, and it's weird. Oh, office worker Jessica. You have my name. Interesting. Alright, anyway. Uh. Yeah, you know, I tend to ramble. It's a thing I do. Because my mind, my mind just goes from one thing to the next, and I'm on one topic, and then I switch to another, and uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one like this. Okay, this Clefairy outlevels me by one. But, uh, okay, so Wake Up Slap is not all that scary, so we should be good. So if I just stick with Jordan this whole time, uh, we, we should be alright. Like, if I don't use my overleveled Pokémon, then it's alright. Uh, let me go ahead, potion you. I'm not taking any chances that I could have lived on 1 HP. Which, man, if I, was, if I were using Pokémon Refresh... I would at least be having chances for my Pokémon to live on 1 HP. Alright, I forget how many trainers are on this route, but we're just gonna go and try to find all of them. Oh, uh, you know, I, I wanna go up and down the whole route looking for hidden items, but if I remember correctly, there really aren't that many. Oh, there's one, though, somewhere. Somewhere close. Here. Rare candy. Okay, that will definitely come in handy at one point or another. How about you, sir? Hiker. <clears throat> Turn the volume up just a little bit. Alright, we got Boldor, so I'm gonna switch right out of there. And let's see. Let's see. I don't want to stick around, so I'm gonna go for... I, I'm gonna go for Carl. I'll, I'll try not to go for Mimi. Or Meowzy, she's my highest level. Just kind of leading the pack there. Okay, we got a Rock Blast. That would have been really frightening to have to take with Jordan. I did not... Yeah, there was no reason to stay in. Because I didn't even have anything that would have done good damage to it. Actually, Bite would have been my best move. Unless I intentionally, like, tried to go for the burn. Which, you know, the odds of that happening... What is it? One in three? Something like that. Not a lot. Okay, not bad. We're gonna take uh, decent damage from SmackDown. It's a crit! Okay, so it really would have done almost nothing. If it weren't, um, a crit. I mean, it would have done a, a small bit of damage. Alright, Jordan's level 28 now. 
And Geodude. So I'm gonna swap... Actually, let me check stats real quick here. Oh yeah, your your defense, uh, Mimi, is not that different from Carl's, so we'll go with that. Oh right, it's a Lolan Geodude too, I forgot. I forgot! I mean, I could have gone for the one, but I didn't want to have to take a magnitude from it anyway, so this still works. This, uh, works about the same, actually. I'm just gonna psychic it. I don't think Alolan Geodude is all that different in the bad special defense department. It is not, but it does have sturdy. It's gonna smack me down. Joke's on you, I'm not levitating anymore, because this is Gen 7. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I guess one- I mean, in one way, you know, Gengar does not actually levitate in its animation, so... I- I can see why... It might not have levitate anymore, but, I, I, like... And if you- if you- especially if you go by the theory that, like, Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar in the different stages, it's just... The different stages of Gengar approaching, like, entering our dimension or our world, and when he's Gengar, he's, like, finally come, like, his entire body has come through, and maybe because he come all the way through, he can't levitate anymore. I don't know. I don't know. It seemed like a bit of a nerf. I mean, Cursed Body has its own uses. Like, you can run a- I- I'm run a really troll set on this one Gengar, and, uh, actually, Cursed Body- works really well. I don't- I can't see who's over there. Let me go ahead and set up another repel. I thought I bought super repels, but I could be remembering a different- I could be remembering soul silver instead. I don't know. All right, got a heavy ball. Is there anything else over here? Actually, I could sniff around. I'll say it again. I love riding on Stoutland. Oh, is- there's something over or at level 28? Is this what- is that what this is? Oh, look, it's a mini ore. I do not want to stick around for that. And on the off chance that I can't run for whatever reason... Ah, it's not that fast, though. Come on, I should run from it. I can run from it. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Okay, good. I was a little worried about getting stuck and hit by, like, whatever rock attack you might have. Okay, let's fight this guy. Oh, his, uh, his music was a little different. Because he's, what, a Pokemaniac? A collector. He's even got Premier Balls to show off his Premier Collection. Oh, Passimian. Okay, so normal fighting... No, or just fighting. Because uh, Oranguru is normal psychic. Maybe maybe Passimian is just fighting. Why I don't remember this, I don't know. But I'm... Um, I have bad memories of fighting types, so I am... Definitely switching out to something immune to fighting this time around. I have hopefully learned my lesson. I don't know what dark type moves Passimian gets. Is Scary Face a dark type move? Either way, that doesn't count. Okay, so I'm just gonna check here real quick. Is Passimian part normal? I don't think it is. I know Psychic would be the better move, regardless. Yeah, okay. That is what I thought. That uh, Passimian was pure fighting, whereas it was... Just, um, oh no. Okay. Oh, it still hits the second time, um. It still hits the second time even though I disabled. But see, I disabled that beat up so we can't use it on me again. Okay, that was scary. Fortunately, he only had two Pokemon. But yeah, Passimian, oh, there's Oranguru. There is the Oranguru. Okay, so yeah, Passimian is pure fighting and Oranguru has two types. All right, so I could stand with Mimi. Actually, no, because I'd have to just go for Sucker Punch, and then I don't want to have to take a Psychic Attack. Alright, Meowzy, we're relying on you this time. I know I was saying we're going to try not to rely on you, but it's fair game. Look, I, look, I, you guys have obviously seen. I have not exactly been breezing through the game, so... And I did not set a level limit, so, um... You could probably see... You could probably have a little bit of mercy on me if I, uh, I, I'm not, it's not like I'm making the, oh, nasty plot, uh-oh. But I don't think it can hit me with anything. I think all it has is a psychic type move at this level. 
So yeah, hopefully you can understand why I'm letting my- I'm being a little loose with uh, letting my levels go a little over. But again, Meowzy is not even going to be very useful in this trial. I don't plan to use her at all, so... It's not like her being overleveled is going to help unless I end up in a situation where all my other Pokémon are dead, which would still be an incredibly difficult situation for me. Alright, let's use another Repel again, even though we can still potentially run into something. Get a Max Potion, that's pretty good, I guess. Free items are always nice. Alright, anything? Anything? I wish when you were sniffing around, like, I'm, I don't know if it lowers your encounter rate, but I hope, I wish it did. If it doesn't. Because what was that mechanic, I believe, in Gen 4, or in HeartGold, Soul Silver in particular? I remember hearing someone say that if you had the, you could toggle the running shoes on and off instead of just holding B. <clears throat> Excuse me, had to hiccup. And, uh, if, uh, if you had the running shoes on while you were going through the grass... Wait, what? Advanced tips. You can retake the photo anytime you want to. It would also be updated by... Right, blah, blah, Um... If you, if you ran around in the grass with the running shoes on, it would, uh, increase your chance of finding a wild Pokémon. Running into a wild Pokémon. Okay, I think that's everything now. So, alright, well that was our last repel. Unless we have some super repels sitting around that I don't know about. I'll definitely... Hey, move. Thank you. I'll definitely check at the Pokémart, but, uh, the, it's no, no more stalling, I guess. Oh man, I really wish I could raise Jordan one more level so he's on par with the totem Pokémon. I mean, he's really close. You know... I'm gonna train him up real quick. That one level... I mean, we have to fight a couple- because we have to fight a couple of Charger Bug first, and we don't get to- we don't get to heal in, in between. We do not get to heal in between, and so... I would like to at least be equal level with the Totem Pokémon. So let's just- hopefully we can run into a, a couple more of these Beldum. That'd be easy experience. Haven't run into any Ditto yet. Which is kind of fine by me, because those things are annoying to have to take down. I think if I see a Ditto, I'll just run. Oh good, can we please catch more Beldum? Not catch more. You know, Nuzlocke rules. But can we please run into more Beldum? I'm pretty happy with uh, Dadalore. Lonely Nature, you know, again... Sure, Adamant would have been a lot better. But, I mean, it still boosts attack, so... I will take it. I will take it. Especially having a lot of Pokémon that have terrible natures for their best stat. A bunch of the Pokémon I've caught are like that. Alright, Firo, I think we could take on a Firo. It would really stink if I went down to this thing. It's only level 25, though. I think we can at least stay in for one turn and find out. Alright, here's the Fury attack. Oh, this thing can carry Pursuit. I'm like 90% sure. Alright, good. Only hit twice. Alright, we're gonna destroy it. It was a crit? <laughs> good. Got some fried... I was gonna say chicken, but... I don't know. Fried? What is Firo? I mean, Spiro is a sparrow, I guess. But Firo is like a crane? It looks like a crane. Fried crane, anybody? <laughs> alright, alright. Let's... I feel a little bit better about myself. Well, we actually, Jordan does have the scope lens on, so it would make sense that we critted that fire fang. All right, here we go, guys. It's gonna... We're, we're already more than 20 minutes in. We're closing in on 25 minutes here pretty soon. So, this could be a long episode. Because I don't remember if there was anything else. Is there anything else I'm missing? Um, is there anything else I am missing that we have to do that's going to happen before... Let me get a few more of these. Is there anything else that we're going to have to do before... Oh, we do have some super repels. Let me buy a few more. Anything else we have to do before we get to take on the trial? I don't think so. This is where we buy vitamins. I remember that. Don't need those, really. Alright, let's just scoot on out of here. So yeah, I think we can just go in and take on the trial, but I know there is some dialogue. Oh yeah, this guy. 
What voice? I don't know what voice to do for this guy and for Soft Please. I don't even remember this guy's name. Hey there. Let's see. What's going to come out? Um. Um. You're still as fired up as ever, eh, Royal? That wasn't even a voice. I'm sorry. Ha, sweet. Let me introduce you. This is Molane. He runs the observatory here and also manages PV, P, PV boxes, PC boxes, but he's not Hokulani's captain. Um, let me try some. But I was the captain once, my masked friend. I don't know what that voice is, but I'm making him a little more soft-spoken. It's sweet, right? Thanks for coming all the way up to Mount Hokulani to visit us, and I just added the word there. But our captain, Sophocles, is a busy young man. Always calculating comets pass, or working on that festival thing- plaza thing of his. So I'll just determine whether you're qualified to take on the trial. Oh no! I have to battle him! Sorry. I- I completely- it- now it's- by now it's been a while since I've gone through the story of Sun and Moon, so... I forget a lot of things- oh, perfect! Perf- if this guy's using steel types- we are a-okay, but, you know, now I didn't have to raise up Jordan. I don't know, guys. I did it in good faith. But this guy, this Skarmory is the same level uh, as the Totem, so... Fair is fair. Alright, we did not even do 50%. It was like 49%. Can we get a crit? Get a high roll this time? Take it out? Oh, good, a crit. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. All right, Doug Trio. Sure, we technically, we technically uh, are super effective against it, but there's no way that when Jordan is our main hope for the trial, that I'm gonna keep him in. No way at all. All right, let's go for Brick Break. Oh, Sucker Punch. You know what? I Scope Lens is nice and all. But I want to give the Firium Z to Jordan. That is what I want to do. Because Totem Battles, totally, I know I've kind of, and I know I've kind of uh, played around with whether I only want to use the Z moves on boss battles. But even if I don't use them on the Charge Bug, I should definitely use the Fire Z move. Just in case, because I don't know if Fire Fang is going to have enough, is going to pack enough punch on its own. And I don't have, like, the same kind of attack stat that, uh, like when I, on the Fire uh, Trial, when I used Zoe and her Z-move, I don't have, like, wishy-washy school form level of offensive power, so. Might be nice to tip the scale in my favor. Because actually, I don't know, uh, I don't even remember what, um, what the Vicavolt gets a boost in. Well, well, you certainly seem qualified to take on the trial. Yeah, I think she's even stronger than we were at this point of our island challenge. One more thing, cousin, the name's Kukui. Who's this masked royal you're talking about? I like how he's just committed to that, um... He's committed to that, uh, double identity, huh? Alright, cousin, I'm heading back to Mally Garden. I figure how should be done eating Malasada by now, yeah? Well, I don't know, it's only been, like, a few days. <laughs> that guy's as interesting as ever, my old buddy. Welcome to our observatory, sweet. You're gonna- if you're gonna take me along- okay, good, I can heal. Right? Alright, I've decided. You know, Scope Lens is nice. I think... I'm pretty sure I just want to do the Firium Z. That would make my life a bit easier. Certainly would. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking. Oh, I just realized we've reached the point where in the totem battle all of the Pokemon stats are boosted. Interesting. Interesting. All right.
Do I keep the scope lens on? Could a crit be better? Because I can only use that Z move once, but he can't heal or anything, so... So, alright. Let's go ahead and heal now. Let me just double check. Alright, Firium Z. We got this. We got this. I would keep the scope lens on for the, the initial charge bug battles and then switch, but we don't have uh, the opportunity to switch in between. Man, what was what voice would I do for Sof Sophocles? I kind of think of him like Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. I already did that for a voice on one of the Team Magma... Oh, you know what, though? I didn't do... I did a Let's Play of Alpha Sapphire. I did it in the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire demo. Ah, that doesn't count. I'll do a Dexter's Lab voice, I guess, here. Oh, the observatory theme is the same as the uh, Dimensional Research Lab theme. Is there anything here? Just a Magnemite chilling out here. Beep boop. He speaks whatever, like, the droid language that R2-D2 and BB-8 speak, huh? Old Mulane and Sophocles are thick as thieves. They're up all day and all night playing games together and whatever else they do. They're, they're, uh, they're cousins, right? I'm pretty sure. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. All right. What accent did Dexter have? I mean, it's like a kind of a fake Italian or it's a very, it's a very generic, like it's very vague. I guess ambig it's ambiguous on purpose. You're getting close to your goal. I actually, I gave him a voice, didn't I? I gave him a voice in the festival plaza. I don't care. I'm giving him this voice now. I imagine that you must have come here to attempt the trial, huh? So, uh, do you like festival plaza? Sure, not using it in this game, really, but... Oh, if that's the case, then... Fine, whatever, let's get started. Right now? Right here? Right here. Right now. <laughs> Alright, he almost said the same thing. Okay, so we have to do some kind of... I forget what we have to do. We have to answer questions... I, I don't remember. You summon totem Pokémon and prove your strength to it. That is why every trial boils... That is what every trial boil boils down to, right? Reading! I can do it, I really can. So I thought. Why not just call the totem Pokemon here from the start? So I tried a bit of this and that, and I think I've whipped up a little device to call the totem Pokemon. Perhaps you're wondering why I built a machine? Here at the observatory, we also monitor sounds that we detect from outer space. There are some sounds that are inaudible to people, but Pokemon can hear just fine. I really, like, I need to watch more Dexter's Lab again and remember more better. I, I can have the voice in my head, but this is evolving from that. Oh well, it's its own thing now. We broadcast the sounds that we have gathered ter terrestrially and monitor the reactions of Pokemon. The machine that summons the totem Pokemon makes use of this technology. Utilizing our sounds we have gathered, we also developed a security system here. But that was actually Big Mo's invention. Just so you know. This will actually be my first time trying it out, so I'm glad you came. I needed a test subject. Ping Totem Pokemon 2.0 Engage! Now the Totem should... Vroom! Yar! No way! Did I blow a fuse? Didi! Stop pressing buttons and get out of my laboratory! Anyway. Oh, did the door close? Let's see. Well, we'll need to turn off the security system to get the door open. You'll have to pass an audio quiz. Oh, right. We have to do, like, Pokemon cries. It's fine. I definitely feel a power, powerful presence. It's coming now. The totem Pokemon is coming. So let's get this trial going, okay? My trial is about to begin. Dun da da da. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. What sound do you hear? That is the healing sound at the Pokemon Center. Oh, I spammed A. Good thing it was the right answer. <laughs> Grub Grub? Oh, is that a Grubbin? It should be a charge bug, but it said Grub Grub, so just saying. It's a little Grubbin! Look at it! So would a flame charge at this uh, stage be enough to knock it out? It's level 27. Let's go for Fire Fang. I know, because I'm not going to use my Z-move on these little ones. I 
I knew you could do it, sweet. Oh, and just when I said it, the door closed again. It's gonna be okay. The totem Pokemon is on its way. Detected presence of approaching totem Pokemon. Dana. Dana, 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 Dana. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. You hear this sound when you get what? Rotom Dex. Correct! Opening door. Charge! Oh yeah, this is a charge bug. Wow! As soon as the door opened, a Pokemon came through! This one's up to you too, sweet! Zit. Yeah, this was part of your trial all along, wasn't it? Alright, look at that charge bug. Look at his eyes! They glow! I, this is the first time I've seen that, and I had a charge bug at one point when I played through Sun. Alright. Fire Fang! Can this one shot? Alright, look at that power. That power! Alright, we're at level 30 now. I knew you could do it, sweet! Oh, and would you look at that! The door closed again while I was flapping my jaw. I it's gonna be okay. The totem Pokemon is on its way. Totem Pokemon still approaching. Dana, 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 Dana. Do we still have to take on another charge bug? The security system has been 50% shut down. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. Which Pokemon's cry is this sound? Charge bug, yes. That was the longer one. Correct, opening door. It looks like the door's about to open. And yeah, we gotta find another charge bug. This is kind of annoying. I have half a mind to use up my Z-move on this thing just because I don't want to miss and have my HP be lowered. You know what? You know what? Jordan, don't miss. I'm counting on you. Okay, good. We should be fine then. Look at that. I love you, Jordan. Of course, I shouldn't say that. Whenever I love a Pokemon, it goes away. I knew you could do it, sweet. And then, of course, the door goes and shuts again. Fool me once, shame on the door. Fool me twice, shame on the security system. Fool me thrice. Shame on me, I guess. Here it comes. We are picking up traces of the totem Pokemon extremely close by. Totem Pokemon incoming! This is the final security question! In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz! What happens or what appears when you hear the following music? You know. <laughs> Correct! Opening door! Huh? This sound. This presence I sense. Th there it is! The totem Pokémon! This is your time to shine, sweet! Vikavolt, the totem Pokémon of the Hokulani Observatory, has appeared! I know it wasn't the computer system saying that, but that's a fun voice. Alright. Here it goes. Big ol' Totem Vicavolt. All of its stats are boosted. That's a big ol' scary bug. Alright. Let's see how much damage we can do here. What's the power gonna be? Alright, not bad. Let's try it. Fire! 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 <laughs> Look at Flareon. Jordan getting intense. Actually, he looks kind of sleepy. But he does look annoyed. Okay, let's go! Destroy! Oh, yeah. Oh, it had an Aka Berry. Duh! 
Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. And then, like, Charger Bug boosts Vicavolt's power. This is really bad. This is really bad. I, I'm gonna have to go in and... I mean, I could go for the one. But I think I need to go for Carl. Just for pure damage at this point. We can't... Because oh. Meowzy can't go out because of a uh, Bug Bite. Could go Mimi and try... Well, let's see. What's your defense and your max HP? 48, 50, 85, 90. So you won't take a hit a whole lot better. And you have to take two hits. Really, Carl is my best choice here, because Meowzy doesn't want to take a bug bite. And you could get... I don't know. <sighs> this is bad. I feel like someone's going down. Also, though... I don't know. I, I'll only... I only... I'll only send in the one if I if something dies and I get a clean switch at this point. Alright, there's Spark. Alright, we take it pretty well. We're gonna get Thunder Waved, which is unfortunate. Now, I have a decision to make, whether to destroy the Charge Bug or just go for the Vicavolt. And I think in this case, you know, do I have any, any X items that could be helpful? I usually get rid of them. X accuracy, whatever. Alright, I'm just gonna try and just go for the Vicavolt. Because once that thing is out of the way, the Charge Bug will be a minor annoyance. Alright, we can take it. We can take it. I'll just heal up again. Yeah, Carl. Just one more of those, but we need to heal first, of course. Just one more. Do I have a full restore on hand, by chance? Like, did I pick one up? No? Alright. Um. Max Potion? Can Hyper Potion here at 120? Hyper Potion is enough. Alright. Okay. Alright, Vicavolt's charging. That means its next attack's gonna be stronger. But we should still be able to take that plus uh, whatever the charge bug does to us. Should being the operative word. Oh man. That Aka Berry. When I saw that, I'm like, oh yeah, didn't I read that at one point? Alright, this should be enough to take out the Vic Vault, though. Yes! Alright. Thank you, Carl. I know. I'm gonna be relying on my overlevel Pokemon, but look at this! It's not like I'm having an easy time of it. Alright. Alright, let's go in now. Let's go finish this thing off. Let's destroy this thing. I don't know how much our body slam is going to do to it, but it's one stage lower and not par and not boosted stats. Darn that paralysis. I know if, after I heal the, if I heal the next time, I'll 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 just heal the paralysis after that. All right, we're going to land our body slam this time. Oh, look at that. Almost a one-shot. Let's try that again. Come on, Carl. Break through one more time. I'm gonna need you to break through one more time. Yes. Thank you, Carl. Oh my gosh. Oh, Jordan. That Akaberry. I feel stupid. I'm like, I, I... I read that. I read that you had it. But I didn't expect... I guess I wasn't sure that I'd take that much from Spark, but whatever. It all worked out for the best. We all lived. Everybody lived, and I'm happy for that. Long episode and all that stuff, but I'd say it was worth it. Safi. Big ball. Nice work, Captain. You helped Sweet here through her trial, and your experiment was a success. It seems your ping po- Let's try that again. It seems that your Ping Totem Pokemon 2.0 uses too much electricity. If we can get a little assistance from Charger Bug, we should be able to make some improvements. Here, sweet. I'll give you this Electrium Z to reward you for beating the Totem Pokemon. Alright, let's go and take it.
All right. Another trial, and we survived. Everyone survived, thankfully. You're watching? Da -da. I was fine when the power was off. Jeez, now that you can see me, I feel nervous. I'm not sure what to say. Thanks, or uh, congratulations? You passed my trial. Congratulations on cheer cheering, on clearing your trial. And you, Sophocles, you did well as captain. I was really nervous. Don't you worry, I'm sure that I made the right choice in naming you captain. Even if you are my cousin. Ha! <laughs> Family humor. Usually it's the island kahuna who appoints the captains. But there are some, er, uh, unusual circumstances here on Ula Ula. So somehow I ended up as captain. But you are really great, sweet. I see. Then let me reward you. Stelium Z! Excellent. Alrighty. This is one of the Z crystals that I collected long ago during my own island challenge to prove my strength and that of my Pokémon. So it seems fitting that it go from one go, that it go from me to you. Take it and use it well. And if we're done here, sweet, could I ask you to do a favor for me? Professor F <laughs> Professor Kukli forgot this. I'm almost done with the episode. We got a Halucha mask or something. Actually, the Halucha is the helmet that we wear for Poke Ride, if you guys didn't notice. He said he would be going back to Mally Garden. Could you take it to him? Maybe next time we can battle. All right, so uh, my my reading notwithstanding, because uh, by the end of the episode I, I got all tongue tied. Ah, that's no excuse. By the beginning of the episode, I was about to. All right, so this has been a little bit of a long episode. Actually, the past few episodes have been reasonably long. I've been trying to cram as much as possible in, and doesn't help that I tend to ramble as well. But let's go ahead and get ourselves healed right over here. And as far as adding to the team, I don't know if I want to how I want to rearrange my team just yet. Uh, I need to I need to think about it. Cause for example, I would like to add uh, the Dadalor back to the team, not back to the team. I was gonna say I'd like to add Zoe back to the team, but I want to get Redemption to evolve first. And I would also uh, like to. Add Dadalore to the team, but we already have three ground weaknesses, and switching it out, I mean, it would be a fourth ground weakness, but we could swap one Steel type out for another, because honestly, the one is a little bit... I don't know. The one... I like the one. You're pretty strong. Let me, let me go in and compare here. The one is pretty strong, and really, right now, Dadalore is not going to be doing a whole lot offensively. But in the long run, he will be because he's lonely nature. And you can learn bulldoze. Um, I can teach you psychic just for something to have, even though you're not much of a special attacker. I think that it's a decent trade-off because I won't be switching in Dottalore to battle anytime soon. But honestly, I'm afraid to, to hard switch into the one. So I think we're gonna we're gonna put. Uh, we're gonna bench the one for now because you know the way this series is going you could always come back We're gonna keep we're gonna keep Zoe in here because you know, she's kind of OP anyway <laughs> We're gonna keep Zoe in here probably until we get redemption to evolve and Let's go ahead and see what TMs I can give to Dadalore here real quick um, Jeroboff da -da 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 -da. Brutal swing smackdown you turn um, the only thing we're missing now- oh, I thought you could use- learn- actually, no, Beldum can't learn any TMs, can you? I thought Wimpod couldn't learn any TMs either, but apparently you can learn Rest. Alright, I- I- I was mistaken. I thought Beldum was one of those Pokémon that, like, it only learned one move by level up, but you could teach it some TMs. Uh, but it's not one of those. Ooh, uh, I could teach, um, Redemption Scald. I know, uh, Redemption is physical. However, couldn't hurt to have something on you in a pinch that'll do some damage. Ooh, leech life. Yes, please. You need that. And, alright, right now we can't teach Dadal or anything, so 
that's kind of sad, but it's okay. I, uh, like I said, I haven't been using the one a whole lot anyway. I'm just afraid because of how frail he is. So at least I'll... Did I, I put the experience share back on? Let me check. Let me check one more time. Oh, I don't think I did. Nope. Alright, off and on. Alright, it's on now. It was on before, but, you know, just double checking. Get a little paranoid with that. It's... I don't know, it's a little confusing sometimes. Alright, so now, I'm gonna try to be a little bit brief with this outro. So, as I'm flying here, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, as, uh, as always. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, answer the question of the day. I didn't think of one just yet, but you can see it on your screen right now. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. Join my Discord server, because it's a lot of fun. Follow me on uh, Twitch. Did I already say Twitch? Whatever. Facebook, Twitter... Yeah, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Discord, right. Um, yeah, so much for a short outro, but I'm gonna leave it off right there. Don't forget to subscribe, too, by the way. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my Pokemon Moon Nuzlocke.